wa innahu la'alamun lisan he is the sign of the last hour this makes perfect sense he is the sign of the last hour but someone put in the diacritical marks instead of alamun ain alif lam alif nun damma alamun put ilmun and this is wrong human beings when they put in the diacritical marks made a mistake here we give him the messiah the son of mary the messenger of allah we give him in fact, if you and I were there, we would also come to the conclusion that he died. And you will hear him say, according to his misunderstanding of an ayah in the Quran, Surah number 43, ayah number 61, wa innahu la'imun lisa'a, according to his misunderstanding, where he believes that if you recite it like that, it would mean that Isa alayhi salam has the knowledge of the hour. Then he died. Let me warn you. And my language is sometimes very harsh because that's the only language some people can understand. Don't come with this nonsense to say that Allah, when I was with Allah, in Allah, Allah calls someone else to take the appearance of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And that innocent man, innocent because he never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. Wait for judgment day with that nonsense. What a brainwash Omar we are today. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today as usual, you know, we will talk about our favorite topic, the religion of the Abdul. You know, Abduls, they are people who have a wonderful religion. Their God is amazing God. He gets upset from farting. He gets scared of yawning. He have a phobia of garlic. An onion. And lizard. And puppies. Cross. Christianity. Judaism, Hinduism. Just to make it short, this God, he have a phobia of everything, but he is God. He's very powerful. Yet he is so scared to deliver his message to a prophet just because there's a puppy under the bed. And he even was dead. Which is telling me about the nature of this God. I mean, puppy versus Allah. You know, those people, they tell us a lot about how amazing this God, how powerful he is. And then we find that the God, he could not convey his message to Muhammad because of a puppy under the bed of the bigger puppy, Muhammad. There's a question always the Muslims, they speak to us about, about if Jesus can be God. And then they saw us, well, if Jesus is God, how come you do not know the hour? My Skype is open. If you are a Mohammedan, feel free. Let us discuss who is the one who know the hour and who is the one who do not. Reality is proving to us that Allah cannot be the God because if this logic of the Muslim saying, the one who do not know the hour, obviously he is not God. We will go with you. Then your God cannot be God. In the case of the Christians, and we are Christians, when a Muhammadan he asked us about how come the father only knew the hour, as Jesus he said, well you just said, you answer yourself, you just said the father. Isn't it Jesus says everything I have is given to me from my father? Isn't it Jesus said the authority over the flesh is given to me from my father, which means even judgment day, he will be the judge. And it's given to him from his father. So what is new? The new is that we have to play games in order to avoid believing that Jesus is a son of God. You see, if Christians believe that Jesus the son is the same as Jesus the father, then that will be a problem, but we don't. Jesus the son is Jesus the son. Jesus the father is a God the father is God the father. 
So when the Muslim they try to play their games, they uh, they are not sincere, and they knew very well that their question is not even valid. But nothing new. This is how their game work, and this is how their stupidity play. Here an example of the liars of the lies of the Muhammadan. Arabic, the and you're going to argue with me Arabic. Uh, you should at least know the basic concept of Arabic. One says, if you want to argue with me about Arabic, at least knew the concept of the basic concept of Arabic. This is one of the game they play. And this is actually proven to us that Islam is invalid, stupid religion. Why? Because if this is the argument, that's mean every single Muslim, which more than 95% of the Muslims, they do not know Islam. Why? Because simply they do not know Arabic. The one who can argue or the one who can ask and the one who can receive answers is the one who know Arabic. The one who don't. You don't have the ability. So how those Muhammadan who do not know Arabic and they are the majority? And I find those sheikhs are very funny. They are wearing expensive watches, carrying nice phones and wearing sunglasses, but yet they are dressing like Arabian. It's like a Halloween day. If you are a person who want to follow your prophet, well then take the sunglasses off, take the Rolex in your hand, and throw away the, the iPhone you have in your pocket and your hand later. If you are a Muhammadan, please, you can contact me immediately in Skype and I will call you immediately too. Only Muslims, please. So, and then the Muhammadan, they go in their argument and uh, this brother here is asking them a question and they are trying to avoid the answer. Malik Yawmuddin mm -hmm. Malik, Malik. Uh -huh. Malik Yawmuddin uh -huh. What's the difference? Honor and kings Are those two different? Now they are giving him a quiz in Arabic I mean they knew that the guy did not know Arabic Malik Yawmuddin and Malik Yawmuddin What the difference? So now like okay now you know what Like we, we, we shot him in the head Like what the difference huh? It, but the guy he did not know Arabic uh, But you just armed him I mean, those Muslims are trying supposedly to show the guy that he is ignorant. But you will see how they armed him with something he can use against them and against their cult. You know, Islam for me is like a whore accusing you of fornication. If you know what I mean. Islam literally is a whore who accuses everybody in fornication. But this is the religion of fornication. Muta'a, zawaj urfi, one day, you know, stand. A travel marriage, a friend marriage, I mean, you name it. They, anything, they, they, they just add the word marriage to the end. But in fact, it's a fornication. Uh, let us see what he will say to him now. Different words? No. Those so they're the same words? Those are two different words. So what if I'm sincere? Did you hear what he just said? He said, no, they are totally two different words. Did you, hear, did you hear the donkey, what he just said? So how the Muhammadan, they say that the reading of the Quran is just a reading of dialect. It's not two different, totally different words. There's a huge difference between dialect and two different words and different meaning. He just said that. And they are the one who mentioned this word, supposedly, in order to show him that he is ignorant. And I take what you guys tell me, yeah. I examine what you tell me, yeah. and I see something okay. that is opposite of what you tell don't, me. Don't use mad. that as a cop mad, out. I'm getting mad. Don't get mad. <laughs> and yeah, by the way, this is a, from, a, uh, from a channel. It's called God Logic. Uh, this is the brother who owned it. He spoke to me last time. You can go and subscribe to his channel. And I'm glad we were able to increase his subscriptions. <laughs> Why? But he doesn't know nothing. But okay, so but, but, but so here's my question. 
So let, let's say, because the everything that we've been told for yeah. years yeah. is that there's one Quran, you know what I'm saying, yeah. all over the world, yeah. you go anywhere, yeah. all the Muslims recite it word for word, letter by letter the same way, yeah. right? So we, okay, we investigate this so, okay, so, and we see a difference so and we, we come to you and ask you about no, it, shouldn't no, you guys no, be able no, to... So, so the difference is, we already explained there's seven huruf. Right. You know what that means? I don't know what haruf means. I know what kuriyat is. That so. means kuriyat is the readings. Letters. Haruf means letters. Yes. Okay. So our so haruf are and kuriyat the same. <laughs> there is seven haruf, brother. Seven haruf. Okay. What haruf mean? Letters. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? So Allah He sent the Quran in seven letters only. I mean, if you say that, that's mean the Quran using only seven letters. Which means all the words in the Quran contain only seven letters. But if we go, we will find from the first line where the Quran contain all the alphabet. So what it's mean really to say seven huruf? And remember our topic is, do Allah knew the judgment day? This will lead us to know everything about Allah. He do not know the judgment day. He do not know what he is saying. And the guy don't even remember what he said before. And this is why he keeps saying, Oh, Prophet, uh, you just said this is different from yesterday. Oh, this is another, uh, you know, revelation. The same, the same, 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 Sadiq, Sadiq, the same. You know, if you know, like the, the, those Pakistani, they go to Saudi Arabia, they learn the word Sadiq, which is very funny. We don't use it in Arabic. Sadiq, Sadiq, Sad you know, okay, Sadiq, what is that? It's Abdul. So if Allah is God and He is God, why even he need to send his book in seven huruf or seven letters as you claim? And why seven? What about ten? Later we will go that and he will show you that this is a stupid religion. So Allah, he sent his book in seven huruf. And now they are schooling, schooling our brother here. What does that mean? You are ignorant, my friend. You do not know what does that mean. Let's, I know what kuriyat is. That so. means kuriyat is the readings. Letters. Haruf means letters. Yes. Okay. So are haruf so and kuriyat the same thing or no? So basically, they recite mm -hmm. in different way. One is wash. Look, look. One is saying to him. What he said to him is haruf and recite is the same, like seven letters. He said that one. One he said no. The other one he said yes. <laughs> In the same team, you know, one he said no, and the other one he said yes. <laughs> and you know, the funny, if you see the Muslims in the comment, they will say, Christian Prince, you have a satanic laughing. My friend, I am so glad that you discovered how Satan he laughed, because I thought Muhammad, he discovered only how Satan he fought. I mean, how in the world do you get to that conclusion? So the Muhammadan, they find my laughing is a satanic, but they don't find that Muhammad going after a little child to have sex with is satanic. Or Muhammad making verses saying any woman she offer himself so I can if her, that is satanic. Or Muhammad killing people, taking their money and their sandals, even sandals, you coward son of Muta, even sandals. I mean, have you ever heard of a low class, you know, thief? Sandals, you kill the guy, you take his sandals. Flip flop from Walmart. This is Muhammad. Continue. Yeah. Uh, and you have. So uh, that's Qirat. Qirat is recitation. Yeah. Right. So what's the Haru? And by the way, he could not even. He, he said uh, Hafs. Uh, uh, Warsh, and he could not remember the rest. He did not know them. They claim to be sheikhs, you see, they're wearing, they're wearing clothes like a sheikh, you know, they have a beard, but he was able to count only two. <laughs> I'll give you an example. Very simple. Very simple. Okay. Uh -huh. What's the difference between and What's the difference? One, one of them was shorter. So I guess less That's A's. A in uh, Look at the liars. Look at the liars. One of them is shorter. But this is just extend his voice. This is not he change anything. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Let us go and show you how those people, Abdul, we can get them busted easy. And I hope this brother, he will learn from what we are showing now. So next time he see them, he can grab them from their tails.
When they say to you it's just a different way of reading, they are a big fat liars. I will give you an example. If there is any Muslim would like to call us immediately, please feel free. Just text me and I will call you. And this verse actually will lead us to know if Allah he knew the judgment day or not. Very important verse. Very important verse. Chapter 36, verse number 38. Chapter 36, verse number 38. Who is a Muhammadan is willing to call us and tell us what this verse exactly is speaking of? And don't worry, you can read any interpretation book you want. I mean, any Muhammadan? Don't forget to post the link around so we can get more people. Like, you know, see, we have only 787. I don't know why. Shall I make the video 15 minutes and go? I can make it 15 minutes and go. Yeah, I'm done. Share, please. Any Muhammadan would like to join us live on air, someone who claimed that he have a knowledge, he have the courage, he knew his religion, his belief, and he is willing to call us. As soon we receive a call from a Muhammadan, you will notice that Muhammadan, they do not know what they are talking about, and they don't have a religion, and don't even have a faith. What the Muhammadan they have is he said, she said. And Allah never said anything because Allah is fake, does not exist. Allah is a previous religion name of God, which is the moon God, contained two words, AL, which is in Arabic today, the, or in the old Aramaic, Al, which means God, and Lah. So the God Lah is a previous God, exists before Islam, and even the Quran confirmed that, that the Arab worship Lah, and he have three daughters. And then you ask the Muslims, how in the world they come to the conclusion that he have three daughters? They're going to answer you. Actually, Muhammad, he confirmed that, yes, Allah have three daughters, and he killed one of them. If a Muslim want to argue with me, challenge me. According to your prophet, he killed one of the daughters of Allah. Which means, really, Allah have daughters. Because how you can kill his daughter unless he have a daughter? You know what I mean? <laughs> if you Muslims claim that Allah Prophet, he sent Ibn, uh, uh, Ibn al-Walid, which is a criminal, the guy who cooked the guy, who he liked his wife, he killed the guy, he cooked him, he ate him, and then he raped the wife. And the Muslims, they claim that he is a warrior. Actually, there's, I saw a video by a professor at university calling uh, the warrior Khalid Ibn al-Walid. When this guy, he is no warrior, he is a scumbag, he is filthy. You see, when you say a warrior, you speak about, because even in war, there's ethic of war. There's ethic. Those people have no ethic. What warrior? This guy is a scumbag, rapist. He killed a Muslim. He cooked him. He raped his wife in the same night. And then a stupid Western American professor, he says, the warrior. They do not know what they are talking about. And here you need to remember that when you learn about Islam from those who so-called university, so-called professor, ask yourself very, very legitimate question. How we can trust what those people say? If those people say that Islam is a good religion, all the prophet companion, they were good people, etc. Obviously, this is a perfectly correct teaching and have nothing to do with the truth. In fact, even the Quran says clearly that the Muslim, the companion of the prophet, they accused the prophet that he stole an underwear. And that is telling you the whole story. I mean, what kind of group they are to the point that the companion accusing the best man of them that he is a thief and he took a panty. Imagine, God forgive me for saying that.
Peter accusing Jesus of the same. Can you believe it? What kind of a quality and what kind of a group they are? Fighting over a pin of a, 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 a red velvet underwear? These people who they are posting things in the chat don't post a thousand cross because it doesn't make them a thousand. The cross is one. So we need people. To say something in the chat. Don't post images for us. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us? Any Mohammedan would like to join us live on air? Open challenge, especially those who claim that they have knowledge. Where is the sheikhs who have knowledge? Somebody's asking me, what do you think about the Islamic law? First of all, there's nothing called Islamic law. That is a lie. You see, if you want to say, we have a law, where we can find the law? Where we can find the, the law of Islamic law? You've been fooled, my friend, when you speak about Islamic law. I have my first degree in Islamic law. And there is no law in the law. As an example, if we ask now the Muslims, the whole Quran, can you show me where is one verse speaking about the punishment of rape? Was even the word rape mentioned? Nowhere. I mean, this God, he have time to tell us about Suleiman speaking to an ant, or the ant speaking to her friends, but he have no time to tell us, okay, what we will do in the case of rape. So when we speak about law, it have to be, uh, uh, especially if it's made by God. I mean, the law which is made by man, they cover even traffic light law. But the law which is made by God, one of the most important crimes is not even there. So how that can be considered as a, as a law? When, uh, when we study Islamic law, supposedly, in fact, we study three. We study Christianity and Judaism and Islam. And you will find that in Islam, there's no law. It's just a fabrication. There's a huge part of ruling about 14. 14. Is that a law? The law of 14? So the, the Muslims, they have... Uh, uh, they have ruling about farting, but they don't have ruling about rape. If you remember when the Abdul, the one who he claimed, uh, he called himself Sheikh Uthman, he was reading from the book, it's called Al Musannaf, Li Ibn Sh Abi Shayba. Right? Right away you will notice. That this coward, he did not even dare to read what is there. He skipped it. And you ask yourself then, where all this is ruling here, we see in the same chapter he mentioned, Where we can find those ruling? Is it in the Quran? No. It's even Muhammad? No. So how that became a ruling? To anyone. It's just a stupid cult. Garbage cult. Garbage in, garbage out. So there is a misunderstanding about what is called law in, for Muslims because simply there is no such a thing. Muslims do not have a law. And actually, the same book he mentioned for us, chapter, uh, uh, value number six, uh, uh, page number 479, is teaching you how a Muslim can beat a Christian, but a Christian cannot beat a Muslim. Can you believe it? As an example here in front of us, if a dhummi, a dhummi is somebody, he paid to live. This is what dhummi, they are thieves. 
They attack your land and they force you to pay them unless you want to die. As long as you pay, we will let you live. But how you will live? You will live like a dog. So if a, if a Christian, he insulted a Muslim, what is the ruling? We beat him. We whip him. But if a Muslim insult a Christian, he did not do anything wrong. As an example here, there's a person who's called Ajjar Maqani. One of, they are two, one is a Muslim, one is Jarmaqani. One of them, he insulted the other or accused him falsely. It doesn't say who, but obviously it's the Muslim. Right away you will see, and how we know that it's the Muslim, obviously he's accusing falsely. It says, فَجَلَتُ Jarmaqani وَتَرَكْتَ Muslim. So I did whip the Jarmaqani and I let the Muslim go. Let the Muslim go, that's mean he is the guilty. Just because he's a Muslim. And this is what they say to you, the amazing, beautiful uh, 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 Sharia law. And when the Caliphate, he came, he said to this guy, he learned what he did. He says, good, good, you did good. You did good. And not only that, as an example here, if you read, in verse number or uh, 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 number six here, it says, uh, let's go actually to number 23. Or we can six actually read it, let's say here. It says, uh, Abu Bakr, he told us, from Ibn Fadil, from Asim, from, 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 I witness a Shabi, a person, his name is Shabi. He did beat a Christian, for he insulted a Muslim. And I said to him, which means hit harder and hit faster to the point we will not see under your arm. Like, you know, under, like, you know, the, where the hair in your arm. So hit faster, faster, like hit the guy, the Christian guy. In number 23, it says, what about a black slave? He insult a free man, which means a white man. How we beat him. Can you believe it? And the filthy earth man, he was quoting for us a note. It says that the Islamic law teach to stop beating. This is what the note was saying. This is what his note, go watch it, go read it. But this is not the book. The same book. The whole book is about beating and then it says in the note, and this is how Islam, brother, an advance was teaching people before, not like in our time now, they are thinking about it. With an advance, brother, it says, don't do beating. <laughs> How to beat a black slave for insulting a free man. Haddathana Abu Bakr. Qala haddathana Mukhlid. Ibn Zayd. And Ibn Juraj and Omar from 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 Ibn Abbas. Al Mamluk, the property they own, we want that we own. He insult a free man. He said we beat him forty times. We lashed him. We whipped him forty times. This is what they call Sharia law. Do you see it? You can go and translate this page using Google Translation, even if you do not know Arabic. And let me post the link for you. And this is the same exact page, the coward, the potato, the zucchini, Uthman. He was quoting for us to read. So in the future, if the guy ever he spoke to you, tell him, can you please translate for us the same page you mentioned to those people? You mentioned page number 479, value number six. He cannot deny it no more. Can he say, I don't accept it? Can he say, I don't accept it? He cannot. 
because he's the one who's quoting the hadith there. And you see, if we are the one who came to him and he said, let us read this one, he would say, oh, this is not even Sahih. <laughs> this book, <laughs> who, who what is this book? This is not important, this is who, who care, you know? But now he cannot do that. He cannot. We got them busted. They are really humiliating their cult. And actually, I'm so glad to have those people because, you see, uh, if we don't have the Muslim videos, we will struggle to convince people. And actually, even we have their videos and still there's people, they are so slow and so stupid to the point still they say to you, Islam is a good religion. But don't you see? Are you blind? No, no, no. Islam is a good religion. Are you sure? Yes, yes. How you know? So beating a person is a black slave who insulted a white man 40 times. Uh, so what the Muslim, they say to us that Islam came to stop slavery. This is long after Muhammad is dead. Way long. Until now, in Islamic countries, we have, they have slaves. And this is the link. I want every one of you to save it. So and if you ever, ever, you know, you can ask a Muslim, can you read for us this, word, this, this, this page? Sheikh Uthman, we have him in video. We cut him in video. And he agreed that this is a Sahih narration. Until now, we are waiting for a Muslim to call us. And there is zero Muslim text to me. Any Muslim can tell us why? The only one is texting me is Muslim girls trying to flirt. Any Muhammadan? So do Muhammad in you that day, do Allah in you the day of judgment? As you see here, it says, let us go back to the verse. And the sun runs on its fixed course. You see, the one who knew the judgment day, I mean, the judgment day must be very far. I mean, uh, at least from the time of Adam. I don't know, maybe it's tomorrow. But we are talking about the holy creation now. So this is how, how the sun functions. So if Allah do not know how even the sun function, how does Allah can even know or knew the day of judgment? Oh yeah, they flirt and they send me pictures too. Now I don't want to blame only Muslims. Sometimes there's some perverted, you know, people do that too. Any Mohammedan? I think the flirt is increasing since I said, like I have almost the power of Prophet Muhammad, like Muhammad, he got the, port, the, the power of 40 men, and I got like 39 and a half, you know, and since then, man. I mean, have you ever heard of religion speaking about the power of the penis of their prophet? And then a stupid fool, American, he will say to you, no, American, I think Islam is a good religion. And Muhammad was really, uh, he's a, uh, actually, they wrote a book, it says, number one person in the world, somebody American, you know? Number one in what? In effing? And this is even false. You see, when a woman, she says, look what, what, look what, what Aisha, she said, just to show you how stupid this religion is. Woman minkumu yamliku irabah. Who of you control his penis like Muhammad? Or he have, or he own a penis like Muhammad? And who is the one who said that? Aisha. And here the funny, the Muslim, they translate, the one who could control his desire. 
But the Arabic it says irabu, which means his private part. How Aisha she knew that Muhammad is the best in that field if she did not have a previous husband or a previous man. You know what I mean? Like imagine you marry a virgin. Before you get married, you ask her, uh, I have a question for you before we get married. Have you ever been with any man before? Oh, honey, I was a virgin. Oh, I swear by Allah. You know, actually, I, actually, I can show you right now. No, no, no. Let's uh, show me in the in the wedding night like, later. Later, I can tell you are a virgin. And then in the, in the wedding night, she said to you, "Man, you are the best of all men I know." I mean, do you see how virgin she is? We have a Muslim trying to call us. Let us see. His name is Muhammad. Muhammad, Muhammad, two Muhammad, not one. Double Muhammad. We are calling him. <clears throat> I hope he will answer. <laughs> Hello? Hello? The only one who calls us usually is Ultimate Fort. This guy here have obsession. Are you there? If you don't talk, I will hang up on you. Okay, well, take care. I mean, this is a very... He agreed about everything. He agreed. This is the same as the God of Muhammad. He don't talk. He sent the representative and he yet will never talk to Muhammad. I mean, do, you, do you see how much Allah he take Muhammad seriously? Allah in the Quran spoke to Musa, spoke to Adam, spoke to Isa, spoke to everybody. Abraham, I mean you name it. Allah never spoke to Muhammad. Let us call him one more time. If you don't answer, I will block him. If you are a Muslim or a Muhammadan and you believe in Islam, please feel free. Uh, to call us. Don't call me Muhammad. I'm trying to call you, my friend. I will give you a chance one more time to answer. If you don't answer, if you answer and you did not talk, I will block you. Hello? Yes, my friend. Uh, you are live on air. Go ahead. Can you hear me? I hear you. Did you hear our topic? Yes, I am watching your video. All right. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Actually, I have a question regarding your Bible because you are a Christian. So I thought that you can give me a right answer. Well, I don't know. I'm really That's disappointed right. now because I thought you are a Muslim and the topic is to Allah and you the day of judgment. And now you Muslims, they call me after thinking for 10 hours to ask me about the Bible. Look like everything we said to you mean nothing to you. This is the problem. Yeah, you, you are afraid of your Bible. Yeah, you know, uh, you are a Christian. Still, you you also Quran. So why? Well, do okay, you I will I will, I will tell you why. This is really the problem. You are a prophet. He came 600 years after the Bible, and yet he want to explain the Bible for us, and he keep attacking the Bible. So if you are saying to me I should not attack the Quran, use the Quran. So while you're a prophet, he attacked the Bible. He cannot even read the Bible. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody he can attack a book without reading it? Yes, uh, Prophet Muhammad never attacked the Bible. He uh, he did not attack the Bible. You're wrong. Oh, uh, so okay, let us okay. I will go with you guys. The Prophet Muhammad never attacked the Bible. Actually, you are right. He never attacked the Bible, saying the word Bible. But in the same time, he said stupid things. As an example, you're a prophet. He said. You're a prophet, he said, that Christians are going to go to heaven. Do you agree with that? Hello? Your God, Muhammad, he said, that the Christian will go to heaven. Do you agree with that? No, I am not agree. 
You don't agree with Muhammad. You don't agree with Muhammad. Now show me from the Quran where, where in the Quran it says that. Chapter 2, in the cow chapter, I don't know if you are a Hindu originally. Chapter 2, verse number 62. It says those yeah, who they I, are I believers and those who they are Jews and those who they are Christian and even those who they are worshiping stars and whoever believe in Allah. I mean, all of them, they will go to heaven. Do you see it? Yeah, so read the full verse. I have read the verse. So I can give you the answer from the Give context. me the answer. Go ahead. I'm listening. So it says that uh, in the uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter two, verse mm -hmm. sixty-two, that uh, all those uh, from the Christians, uh, Christians and the Jews and the Sabians, all those who believe in Allah and the Day of Judgment, mm -hmm. they will go to heaven. So we, as a Muslim, we believe that uh, uh, at the time of Jesus, their disciples uh, of Jesus was Muslim, so they believed in Allah and they believe uh, believed in Jesus as uh, the messenger of Allah. So at the time of Moses, uh, they, they were the Jew, so they also believed in Allah and they believed also in Moses. That's why we believe that they were Muslim. So that's why uh, uh, Quran says that they will okay. go to Let heaven. me show you that you are ignorant and do not know how to read. This verse is revealed in the time of Muhammad. So in, in, that, hold on, my friend, let me, I, I let you talk, uh, let me listen to me. You said in the time of Jesus, there was a Christians who believe and they were Muslim, right? In the time of Jesus. But this verse was revealed oh, in the oh, time, oh. Was, was, in this verse revealed in the time of Muhammad. It's saying, speaking oh. about now, verily those who believe, not believed, those who believe today, and those oh. who they are Jews today, and those who they are Christian, yes. and you Muslim, you lie, and you say those are Muslims, so why they are called Jews, and why they are called the Christian, they are Muslims? I mean, we are called the okay. Christians, and then you say to us, we are Muslims? Okay, listen to me. So, okay. Can I explain that? Yeah, but start with, it says now, verily those who believe, you'd lie to me, and you say this is in the time of Jesus, there was the believer, the disciples, they were really truly Muslim, but this is in the time of your prophet, not in the time of Jesus. Go ahead. So, uh, do, do you believe in Allah? I don't believe in Allah, no. So that's why you cannot go to heaven. If you believe in Allah, you are a Christian. So don't, don't change the topic. So don't change the topic. So don't, change to... the, don't change the topic. No, don't change the topic. I, don't change no, the topic. No, 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 no. You see, even the verse says, verily those who believe, those are the Muslims, and those who are Jews, those are the Jews, and those who they are the Christians, and what the Quran says about the Christians, who are the Christians? The Christian is the one who worship Jesus. The same book says that. You don't believe in Allah. Okay, so no, uh, don't do, don't move your microphone. Your microphone is making uh, uh, bad noise. Abdul, your microphone making bad noise. Don't move it. Hello. Is it okay? Now it's okay. Don't move it, please. Hello? Okay. So as you see, okay. it says the Jews. Okay. When when the Quran says the Jews. Those who they are Jews, uh -huh. they will go to heaven. Yes. What the Jews believe in, uh -huh. according to the Quran. Okay. So uh, yeah, Jews, uh, first of all, they do, do not follow. They do not believe in Allah because they, if they would believe in Allah, they would believe in the Quran and Prophet Muhammad is as well. So you, as a Christian, if you want to go to heaven, so Allah is saying that that all those who believe uh, uh, in Allah and the Day of Judgment, they are Muslim. So when uh, when no, you no, no, believe no, in no, Allah, no, 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 no. You see, you are jumping over my question. According to the same book we are reading, this is the verse revealed in the time of Muhammad, right? In the time of Muhammad, yes, yes. okay. Yes. And Muhammad was speaking about people present in his time, correct? Mm. Okay, if there is people in the time of Muhammad, who they are mm. Jews or Christians. Yes. So The Christians, if there, is one, if there is one Christian in the time of Muhammad, he don't believe that Jesus is God? Yes, uh, the, but uh, all of the Christians, they do not believe Jesus is God. I have many Christians who believe Jesus is a God. Well, th uh, th that's false because none of the Christians don't believe in what you are saying. I mean, because the reason they are called the Christians because they are following Jesus. This is coming from the name of Christ. So we follow Jesus. What? Why? Because we follow God. Yeah, what? What about the Unitarian Christians? They, they do not believe Jesus to be God. They believe he's, No, uh, there is not a Jesus single a... Christian. You are a liar. There is not a single Christian don't believe that Jesus is God. And the Quran confirmed that. Stop lying. 
Is in the Quran says that the Christian they say that Messiah is God. Is it the Quran say so? Are you against the Quran now? The Quran did not say some of the Christians. Listen, the Quran did not say that some of the Christians, the Quran says, the Christians, all the Christians, they say that the Messiah is, even the, even the Quran used the word Allah. He is Allah. Is that correct? The Quran say that? Yes, it's a okay. sacrifice. So why you are lying, why you are lying saying that some of the Christians believe in that and some they don't? Because if it's some, that means the Quran is wrong and the Quran should say some of the Christians, but the Quran did not say so. The Quran says all the Christians, hmm? all the people of the book, all the people. Okay, let me ask you, who is the people of the book? Uh, Jews and Christians. Jews and Christians, thank you very much. So every Jew, every Christian is people of the book, correct? Uh, I mean, uh, yes. Uh, you yes, uh, yes. Uh. So look what your stupid God said. All people of the scriptures, between two brackets, Jews and Christians, do not exceed the limit of your religion, nor say of Allah, but the truth, the Messiah, Isa, Jesus, son of Mary, was no more than a messenger and his word. Okay, so now this is refuting who? Refuting the, all the Jews and all the Christians because some of the Jews, they became already Christian and they are called Messianic Jews. And some of the Christians already they are Christians from other uh, ethnic groups. So here you see that your God confirming that all people of the book, they share one thing, that Jesus is God and they worship him. Do you see your God says, oh, some people of the book? No. It says, oh, people of the book, which means there's no other people left. What the, what the people of the book believe? They believe yeah. that Jesus is God. It's in front of you. Chapter 4, verse 171. Are you thinking? Do you need to call a friend? Hello? Do you need to call a friend to answer this verse? Does it say all the people of the book? No, no, I... Does it say all the people of the book believe that Jesus okay, Christ let... is God? Okay, listen to me now. So when uh, Allah talked about uh, the people of the book, so He is referring to the Jews and Christians. So when Allah says that uh, the uh, do not accept the uh, in your religion, so it uh, refers to those people uh, who uh, follow who follow Jesus to be God. So now, uh, if uh, if I uh, this is why I came for uh, to call you because uh, I I want to know from the Bible about Jesus because uh, you as a Christian I believe that you can give me a right answer. Uh, yeah, but you know you are trying to jump over your God now because your God is saying something very silly and very stupid. That's why you are trying to avoid it. You said to me that in the time of Jesus only. Hold on, when I show you the first verse, when I show you the first verse, you said in the time of Jesus those people they were Muslims and this is why they will go to heaven. But as you see, this is not yeah. in the time of Jesus. This is now, I mean, at the time of Muhammad. And this is the verse mentioned that all the Jews, all the Christians, and let me ask you, don't you Muslim, you claim that the, the our book is corrupted? Uh, uh, yes. Okay, so you claim that our book is corrupted. So how does stupid Allah keep calling us people of the book if we don't have a book? Because yeah, you were the people who are the book was given them. That's why no, uh, they, no, they this is false. Because if we are people who been given the book, that's mean we still have the book. You see, it says all oh, people of the book, so they have the book still. It's not corrupt because you cannot call. If listen, 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 listen. I don't call Jehovah's Witnesses Christians. Why? Because they changed the, the translation. They have false translation. So they are not really people of the book. They don't have a book. They are not Christians. So how the stupid God of Islam, he says, all people of the book, if those people don't have a book, do we have a book or not? They, they, you have the book, but this is corrupted. So you do not have so the book. So how it's corrupted and you call the book? Listen, 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 listen. How it's corrupted, and you keep saying to us, the people of the book, look, look, to make it simple for you, you are bold. You used to have hair. Shall I call you the guy with the hair, but you are bold now? This is how stupid your statement is. If they lost their hair, we cannot call them the people of the hair, because simply they don't have hair no more. 
So either they are people of the book so you and they have a book or they don't have a book. So do we have a book or we don't have a book? You, you have the book, but you have corrupted that book. That's okay. why Allah said I that want you, you to show me. Book, I want you. I challenge you to show me one verse in the Quran says we corrupted the book. Okay, go to chapter 5, verse 41. Okay, let's go there. I want you to be sure. Are you I sure this is about? Verse. Listen, I want you to be sure. Do you swear by Allah that this verse is about corrupting the book? It's about the Torah that Allah said that people of the the Jews and they uh, changed their uh, the the verse from their book. Okay, this is chapter what? Chapter five, verse forty-one. You will cry now. You will say, "I will regret showing you this verse." Go ahead, read it for us. Yeah, you can read. Actually, I do not have Quran right now. Well, no problem. I mean, uh, you open the Quran in your phone, in your computer, who cares? Because look what you just did. You just choose a verse saying that the people of the Jews, the, the Jews specifically, this is about the, the Jews, right? Yes. Okay. You are saying that they are corrupting the book, but the verse here is speaking about they are lying with their tongue. Yes, so they are. So, they, that's so where, why, is, uh, where they, is the corruption of the book? See, because uh, Torah, uh, Allah said in the Quran that I have showed you the verse that it says that they sensed the the, the you, book. You did not show any. You did not show anything. The verse you choose for me, it says that the Jews they lie, but everybody lie. You Muslim lie. Muhammad is a liar. Allah is a liar. So if the Jews they lie, what does this have to do with corrupting the book? The book is text. The book is a paper. So did they corrupt the book? Yes. Let me help you. Let me help you. You are just you don't know your religion, my friend. I will give you other verse that will help you. Chapter 4, verse number 46, it says, Those who display the words from their rights, they are doing corruption. Yes. Okay, do you agree with that? Uh, maybe you can uh, go. Chapter 4, verse number 46, it says, Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't. Min al hadu yuharrifun al kilim. عن مواضعه أو الكلام عن مواضعه ويقولون سمعنا وعصينا which is very funny how سمعنا وعصينا the Jews they say we heard we learn and we disobey that's stupid the fact they don't do that of the Jews of those who displace the words from their right places so what they are doing they display the yes. words from their right places is yeah. that a, is that a corruption in Islam or not yeah it is right this is a this is a correction because they are changing the, uh, the the writings from their book. Exactly. So, guys, if you change the location of the words from their war, from their places, then you are corrupting. Do we agree together, me and you, now? Yes, because the Quran says that they changed it. That's why we, okay, I. Okay, but I want you to it. agree. Do you agree or not? That the one who changed location of sentences and words from their places, he is doing corruption. Do we agree? Yes, okay. Okay, but if you go and read the story here, you will find that a Jew, he put his finger in the top of the sentence. He did not change the word from location. Go and read Ibn Kathir, go and read the Qurtubi, read the Tabari, read the Jalalain, read Ibn Abbas, read all of them. The story is about Muhammad. He went to the Jews, and the Jews, they want to make fun of him, supposedly. So one of them, he put his finger over a verse, and he claimed by doing that, they are changing the word from their place. So there's no corruption. But look what happened now. You agreed with me that the one who changed location of verses is doing corruption. Let us go. In the Quran, we have a verse that says, that today I choose for you Islam as a religion. I'm Hello? Hello? Are you there, Abdul? Okay, listen carefully. So, in chapter 5, in chapter 5, what? Well, I'm going to mute him until he fixes uh, what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing.
We have a bad microphone, my friend. Fix it, fix it. Fix your microphone. Okay. Are you there now? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, okay. So if we read in chapter yes. 5, verse number 3, it says, This day I completed, so like I completed your religion for you, perfected Islam for you, choosing yes. Islam for you as religion. Do you, do you agree with this verse? Yes, I do with this verse. Okay, but this is a chapter 5, verse number 3. So, how Allah perfected Islam for them, which means there's no need Quran, more, more Quran. How this is a perfection of Islam, when this is in the beginning of the of Islam. So, how, how Islam is perfected today? It says this day. This day, have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as religion. This day. So speaking about searching time, and Islam became perfect. And then, so all the verses after, the, all that Quran actually is coming after, is a fabrication. Because Quran already is perfected now, and Islam is perfected. And this day, he mentioned this day, this is a verse, should be at the last place in the Quran, the end. When somebody finishes his book, he says, this day, thank you for reading. This day, I perfected the religion for you, completed my favor upon you. And even Muslim scholars agree that this is, should be the last verse in the Quran. So who is the one who replaced the Quran sentences from their places? Remember, you are the one who said to me that the one who changed location of verses from their places is doing corruption, correct? Hmm? Hello. Yeah. So yes. the one so, who changed the one who changed yeah. verses from yeah. their location is doing corruption, and you agreed you cannot take it back. So you Muslim, you change the location yes. of verses. You change the location of the verse okay. from the yes. end of the book, put it in the middle of the, in the in the beginning of the book. Yeah, so what about the Bible? Uh, don't you think that you people but the, but, 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 but Bible, uh, Stop with me here. Suddenly you jump to the Bible. What's wrong with you? You agreed with me that the but one who this, changed location of verses, why? hold on, you agreed, everybody heard you. The why one who that? changed location from, the, from, the, from their location, he is doing corruption. You agreed already. You, your signature is there. So now we find that you Muslims are the one who changed not only even verses, you change chapters. I mean, the first chapter Muhammad he received, it was Iqra, according to Muslims. And now it's 96. So what was number one became 96. And now we find the sentence, which was at the end of the book. You must, I mean, you move it, you put it in the, mid, in the beginning of the book. So who is the one doing corruption? Go ahead. So let me explain to you. So, so this verse, uh, Surah Al-Maida, chapter 5, verse 3, this was the last verse. We saw Sabil to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. That's why Allah said that uh, in the to, in in today I have perfected your religion for you. So this is what I'm saying. You agree? This is the last verse Muhammad he received. Yeah. So why you Muslim have it in the beginning of the Quran? So this is this is the structure of the Quran. This is not that uh, you do not understand the uh, you. Uh, I think you should uh, need a scholar, Islamic scholar, to understand that. Because my friend, uh, I am the, the Islamic have, uh, scholar. Like, uh, I am the Islamic scholar, and you are a potato. You are avoiding the question. You should ask your scholar. I'm asking you if this is was at the end of the book, and you agreed, and you agreed from the beginning that the one who changed location of verses from their places, and this is what the, the previous verse in the Quran saying. This is a corruption. So why okay. you must then change the location okay, of the verses? Who approved that? Okay. Did Allah approve it? Okay. Did Allah say to you, you can do that? Okay. okay. Listen to me. So do you know how uh, the verses were revealed to Prophet Muhammad? Do you know how it was? I uh, know. He, as revealed? an example, I know, I know. I will explain to you too. As an example, chapter of Al-Fatiha was revealed to Muhammad during the time he was doing poo, -poo. Is that correct? Maybe I don't know. Okay, so now we have we have a prophet who received holy word of God during the poo, poo time 
And you are asking me, maybe you do not know how the Quran is revealed to Prophet Muhammad. No, I know yeah. it was during the Pupu time. And each time he hear the word of yeah. the word, oh, listen, each time he listen, hear the, oh, Abdul, each time, each time, each time, he, he, he hear the words of the angel, he run away and he, he have his panty between his legs. Is yeah, that so, correct? So listen to me now. So go back to the Huh? No, I do not know. So now the well, I can so show you the, right now. I can show you right now the reference. Do you want to challenge me? So if, you, you do not have to show it from that. Um, well, why I don't have to? Now, why I don't have so to? You Muslim, you, wanna, you, that, Muslim, that, you, wanna, uh, you Muslims, you have a big mouth. You want to show the Christian how amazing the Quran. The second we show you that your prophet received Quran during Pupu time, you don't want to see that. Why? This is the, this is al -asbab al -nuzul. This is al -asbab al -nuzul. The reason for the verses to come down. It says here, wherever the prophet he go out to, to bar baraza, which means to go to do biraz, which means to do shit. Each time he go out, he hear a voice. He hear somebody hmm, saying to him, "Oh, uh -huh. Muhammad." And the second he hear the voice, he run away. He flee. So this is this is cannot be holy uh, word of God. I mean, cannot God wait until Muhammad finish his poo poo? I mean, do you have to? You, the, hour, the day is twenty four hours, and Muhammad for sure don't yes, shed to twenty four hours. So, uh, so listen. Let us go back to zero. I will, I will be merciful on you. The verse I showed you, and you agreed that this is a verse was given the last verse to Muhammad. Who is the one who changed the location of that verse? Yeah, so now, uh, can you, uh, will you answer my question? Please ask question. We, 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 look, I mean, you Muslims are really funny. We are in the kitchen, we are cooking, and the turkey is now in the middle of the cooking, and now you want to stop the oven? I want you to tell me you agreed that the one who changed location of verses, he is doing corruption. So who is doing corruption? Muslims. If Allah, he gave you this verse to be the last verse in the Quran, who is the one who put it here? Okay, listen to me. So now the, this Quran that you see that from Surah al Fatiha to Surah to Nas, this is not about that the Surah al Fatiha was the first time he built and Surah Nas was the last uh, Surah. So this is how the Quran was structured. So now uh, the what, first Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What how Quran? I didn't understand anything. Let me ask you again. Did Allah give you the Quran the same way we see it in the screen right now? Was, yes, the, the Quran was, was this the, was this sentence in a chapter called chapter five? Was it there, or this is the last verse in the Quran? Yes, chapter 5, verse 3. This was the last verse. Okay, this so this is the last Muhammad. verse in the Quran. Thank you. So how it is was the last verse in the Quran, and suddenly now, it became in the beginning of the Quran. Who is the one who changed the location of it? Okay, so now the uh, the uh, so you have to understand that how Quran was compiled. So now when the Prophet Muhammad got I don't uh, care how it was compiled. The question is, my friend, you you, you simply stop stop playing games. You agreed that the one who changed location of verses from their places, Allah He gave it to you, the last verse. Allah is Allah stupid. If Allah decide to make it last verse. No. Who are you to change the location? Allah, he decided to give it to you last verse. And you agree. You said this is the last verse. Okay. So Allah, he decided to give to Muhammad so Allah, the last verse. before. By the way, Muhammad, yeah. when he, before he received this, what happened? According to Aisha, he asked for a dish. He pissed on it and he died. Look at what, what kind of a prophet. The last thing he did, it was a piss. So listen. So listen, 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 listen. So Allah, he gave you the verse to be the last verse. Who is the one who made decision? And he said to himself, this is wrong. We should not put it the last verse. We should put it in the beginning. Who is the one made decision for this? So I, are you finished? No, so I, I hope that you will not interrupt me. Well, I am interrupting you because each time I repeat, I need to repeat the question a thousand times so you can take it. Until now, you are not holding my question yet. Are you going so to answer the question or you will jump to a different topic? So who is the one who decided, yes, I am, I am. who is the one who decided to change the location okay. of the verse here? Go ahead. Yeah, so let me answer your question. Hmm. Now the Quran was uh, when uh, the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad by uh, the, for example, that. Uh, stop! Allah, stop! You see, I am interrupting you because you are uh, starting to explain. I don't care. Don't explain to me. I want to know who is the one who made the decision to change the verse location here. I, I'm asking you a certain question. Who is the one who made the decision that Abu, the last verse Allah He Abu gave, Abu. He should move it, put it here? Who is the one who did the change? 
It was it was uh, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. It's Abu so Bakr. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Abu this Bakr. is a good answer. This is Abu Bakr. So it is not Muslims following Allah. It is Muslim following the book of Abu Bakr. This is why the Shia they call you the Bakri sect. You are Bakri. You are following the Abu Bakr. So look what happened now. You admitted that this is the verse relocated by a guy his name is Abu Bakr so from the beginning of Islam Allah book is corrupted who is Abu Bakr who is who gave him the authority to change the location go ahead okay so now so the uh, the Quran was uh, able, uh, able to prophet Muhammad so it was uh, 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 written down in uh, paper or in the leather you know that so now uh, the at the time of prophet muhammad the whole quran was not compiled so after his death prophet muhammad death after one year later abu Bakr he compiled all the chapter and he made uh, this to one book that is we call the quran so now uh, in the uh, so surah fatiha it was uh, the first chapter but that does not mean that it was the first time he built so the, Abdul, this is Abdul, 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 did you question. forget what you said to me in the beginning <clears throat> i ask you do you agree with the verse where it says yes, I that. that the one who changed location of verses, he is doing corruption? He is not even adding words, just a change in location of words. Correct? And you agree? Listen, 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 you, listen, you agree. You agree. Don't, don't, discuss it. Don't, don't discuss it no more because you agree. The one who changed location of words, he is doing corruption. And you agreed, correct? So, but here, uh, but Jews, they also added the verse. So that's why they copied this one. So you, I challenge you, I challenge you to show me where the ver the Jews, they added verses. Can you show me? Okay, suppose uh, if I show from the Quran, who says that uh, the... The Nowhere in the Quran it, it says that. The Quran you, says that they changed location of the words from their places. Verse 79. Chapter 2, verse what? 79. Yeah, okay, so now go to chapter four. No, no, give, give me, okay. give me, give me, no, the, no, give me no, the, the verse. That. What, chapter what, what, four, chapter, what chapter? What chapter? What chapter? You want to show in screen? Chapter four, verse hundred and fifty-seven. Okay, chapter four. Let us go there. Hmm. Give me a second. And now you will regret. You will say, "I don't like it. I don't want it." This is a chapter four. No, I think this is a chapter four. Hold on. One hundred what? Fifty-seven. One hundred fifty-seven. Let us go there. Okay, tell me what the verse is saying. Go ahead. So it says that uh, Jesus was not killed. It says Jesus was not killed. Yes. Okay. But the Bible says that Jesus was killed. Okay, so just to show you how that, uh, just, just to show you how stupid what you just said. If Jesus was not wow. killed, that is a, that is going to be corruption, right? But isn't it the same verse saying yes. that the Jews, they saw Jesus in the cross? Yes. So how they are lying? Can you say it? Abdul, hold Can on. Can you say it again? Listen, listen. It says there in the front of you that the Christians, the Jews, they say we killed Jesus, right? We? Yeah. We killed yeah. Jesus. Okay. So yeah. when they say we killed Jesus, the Quran did not say... They, didn't, they are lying. The Quran says, Allah made it. See, someone like Jesus on the cross. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So now what we have is that the real liar is Allah and the Jews. They did not change anything. And secondly, you idiot. How you say the Jews changed that? If this is the book of the Christians, because in the book of the Jews, it doesn't say anything. The one, the one, the, the, the one who wrote about Jesus' crucifixion, it was not the Jews, it was the Christians. So when the Quran says, and this is the verse you quote for me, and this verse will condemn your God and religion because your God, Allah, is a fraud. Look what it says. And this is their saying, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. In fact, they did not kill him. Nor did they crucify him, but it was it it appeared to them. It was made to appear. Okay, who is the one who made it appear to them? Can you tell me? I can't hear. All. Who is the one who made the crucifixion appear to the Christian and the Jews? Who is the one who made that, made that appear to them? Who is the one who made that appearance happen? Was that your question? Huh? Yeah, I I I I am sensing the topic. Are you sending the topic? I am not. You are the one who chooses verse, you idiot. 
Isn't you who said to me, go open this verse? Because what you... It's you who asked me to open this verse, and now you don't want to read it. And this is what I said to you, you would regret it. Yes. So, it's you who asked me to open so this verse, and you are saying to me, are you changing the topic? I'm not changing the topic. I am going with your topic. It's you who choose it. So what kind of a stupid God? You, you, are, you are the one who chose for me to show me a verse that they are changing the book. But this doesn't say that. That is the opposite. That means our book is true. Because what we saw, we saw Jesus and the cross. We did not change that. We write down what we saw. And the Quran confirmed that this is what we saw. Allah, he made it appear to us. Is that correct? Can I explain that? Can I explain? Okay. You can explain. So go now, ahead. Uh, the, okay. The Quran says that Jews they thought that Jesus was killed, but Quran says that he was not killed. But the Bible says that not only Jews they thought he was killed, but Bible also said that Jesus was killed. So that's why the Bible is contradicting you, uh, contradicting with Just the to Quran. show you how stupid you are, Abdul. The Quran confirmed now the Bible because the Quran confirmed. Hold on, the Quran. You see, you are trying not to listen because this will show people how stupid this time is. What the Quran confirmed let, here? Let let this, okay, I want you to answer a very simple question. Who is the one who made Jesus appear to be in the cross? Okay, I, I will answer that question, but, but first I want who to. Who is the uh, one? Your, no, 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 first, no, second, no, third, no, no. Who is the one who made Jesus appear in the cross? Give me his name. Actually, uh, it was Jesus who was in, in the in the cross. He was in the cross. Yes. Okay, are you Ahmadiyya? No, no, no. I am what, what is your sect? See, I am a Sunni. You are a Sunni. Okay. As long as you are a Sunni, yes. I will let you live with no teeth. So look what you said. You just said that the fact Jesus was on the cross. So what happened? Explain. Go ahead. Okay. So now, so it uh, it is uh, explained in the Quran, chapter three, verse fifty-five, hmm. that the, the Jesus uh, Allah said that. Allah said to Jesus that uh, they, uh, Allah will take his soul and he will return it back. So that's why the Jesus was in the cross, but uh, after uh, that, uh, they thought that he was dead. But when he was put down from the cross, that uh, he, was, uh, he was alive. Okay, so in the cross he was dead? No, no, no. In the cross he was alive. Okay, but, it's, but you just said to me, Inni mutawafika. You know what mutawafika mean? Yes, I know, I know. But what does what it mean? Take it, taking the soul. Take your soul, but that means it's dead. No, no, this is, uh, 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 this in the Mutawafika, this uh, verse is, uh, 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 I think uh, you can read uh, chapter 6, verse 16. Uh, friend, uh, answer Allah the question. That... If somebody, his soul is out of his body, does that make him dead or alive? No, he was alive. So you must then believe that when your soul go out of your body, you are alive? Yes. Really? So what is death? Yes. So what is death in Islam then? Okay. So the, in that uh, in Islam, there is two kinds of death. One is the, the permanent death, and one is the uh, temporary death. Okay, is, but uh, look what you did. Are... Look what you did. Hold on. You said there is temporary death and there is permanent death. But yes. when? Okay. What the difference between them? Okay, so now this verse, uh, you can have this answer in the chapter 6, verse 60. Okay. This very clearly is given in the Quran. What is that? What it says? Yes, read that for me. You read it for me. Go ahead. No, I don't have Quran. You can read that well, for me. You, I have you, Quran okay, in my do memory. Do you promise me if I open it for you, you will not cry and you will not change the topic? Yes, I will not okay, change what the verse topic. You want me to, what verse do you want me again? Chapter, Just to be sure. Chapter, huh? chapter 6. Chapter 6, verse 60. Okay, verse number 50. Okay, go ahead. Let us see in verse number 50. And now, and now you will say, I don't accept that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Hmm. Ch chapter 6, verse 60. 50, okay, go ahead. 60, 60, not 50. 60? 60? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought 50. All right. Uh, here we go. This is 60. Yes. Okay. And? What does this have to do with Jesus? Just to show you how foolish the Muslims are. This is speaking about when you are asleep, according to the stupid Muhammad. When somebody is asleep, hold on, hold on, just to show you how you sleep. Did the, did, the, did the Jews kill Jesus when he was asleep at no, night time? You are caught, sit, you are caught. Abdul, Abdul, did Jesus, did they hang Jesus when he was asleep? He was taking a nap, and this is what happened. Yes, I mean, your Muslims yes, are messed up. Oh, go ahead, what? 
Yes, so why don't you read that verse, chapter 6, verse 60? Verse number 60, right? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm sorry to you, it says here, it is he who take your soul by night. But Jesus was crucified in the daytime. This is the stupid Muhammad teaching the Muslims that Allah, when you sleep, you are, hold on, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. This is a silly, this is a silly, this is a, and this is a silly, actually, this is a fiction, that when you die, no, no, no. Allah, you are the one who should the topic, and everybody will laugh at your prophet now. So according to the foolish Muhammad, when a person, he is asleep, Allah, he takes his soul out, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, but this is a stupid, because when we are asleep, we are alive, and we are, and our soul is there. Only donkeys will say such a thing. All what you need is oh. just to, hold on, all what we need is just to tickle your nose with a feather and your soul will come back right away. Okay, so now can I explain that? Okay. Even this one, you need to explain it? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, listen to me now. Listen to okay, me. So I'm listening. Now we are talking. Okay, so now we are talking about the Quran. So Quran described about the death of Jesus. The Quran says that Jesus was not killed, he was not crucified. So that's why the in the chapter three verse fifty five. Okay, says hold on, that, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. You just said he was me, you just hold on, hold on, just to show you how stupid you are. You just said nor was a crucified, correct? Yes. Oh uh, yes. Okay, but you just said to me Salah, a Allah. second ago he was in the cross. Oh. They yeah. him not there. Okay, uh, but you hey, so so he, he you said now he was not the crucified, but the verse there says he was on the cross, and you are the one who agreed. He said yes, he was on the cross. So he no, wasn't crucified or he wasn't crucified. You said you said he was on the cross, that's mean he was a crucified. Yeah, so can I explain that? Uh, even this one you need to explain. Listen, listen, Abdul. Did you say yeah. did you say did you say that Jesus was on the cross? No, uh, yes, I did say that. Okay, so when Jesus was on the cross, was he crucified? No. How he is on the cross and the crucified? Okay, so let me explain that. Why don't you How let you explain talk? that? Yeah. I mean, he was on the cross and he is not crucified? Okay, okay. So, okay, so let me explain that. So what he, no, now, hold okay. on, hold on. Are you saying that Jesus was doing oh, hiking on the cross? Was Jesus, was Jesus doing no, hiking? In, was Jesus doing hiking in the cross? Or he have he have nails in his hands and feet? He was hiking on the cross, or he had nails in his hands. Listen, why don't you let me talk, man? I, I can explain that to you. This is a very uh, because I, mean, I know the, what Muslims do. Topic. They they explain nothing except except not the question. Uh, to make it spe specific and short, was Jesus in the cross, and he have nails in his hands? According to understand, yes or okay, no? So now, listen now listen to me, okay? Now. Uh, just uh, you will not interrupt me, okay? No, no, no I, I will interrupt you. I want an answer. Was Jesus in the cross and he have nails in his hands? Because this will explain everything. Was he in the cross yes. have nail in his hands? Okay, so listen to me now. So suppose, uh, listen to me, okay? No, I'm not uh, listening. I'm, I'm not supposed to. I want the answer right away, direct. Don't play games. Was, yes, Je was Jesus, I'm, why you cannot I'm, tell me yes or no? Why you cannot tell me? What is the problem? Was Jesus in the cross? Yes no. Was Jesus in the cross and he have nails in his hands? Okay, so this is not a yes or no question. No, I have it is. No, it way. is. Because this is what it is. Crucifixion is. If he have no, no nails in his hand, this means he is not a crucified. If he have nails that, in his that, hand and his feet, that's means he's a crucified. Go ahead, go ahead. So let me repeat the you question, ahead, Abdul. Psst, psst, Abdul, listen. Is, was he in the cross and he have nails in his hands? Okay, can I answer that? Yeah. Okay. okay. So now, uh, if I ask you a question, that uh, if don't you explain. Are in the cross, I want the answer, Abdul. You see that this is how because because your religion is a stupid. Now you do not know what to say. You have to fabricate a story in the middle of nowhere. I'm asking you a very simple yes. question. Was Jesus in the cross and he had nails in his hand? You can you can continue after that, no problem. But I want the direct answer. Was he in the cross and he had nails in his hands and his feet? Yes or no? Okay, so uh, so I am going to give you an answer. No, so you don't I, give me no. I, you, you see, if you are willing to give me the answer, you will say yes or no. Was he in the cross and he had nails in his hands and his feet? Yes or no? This is not a yes or no question, okay? It is uh, yes or no, because yes. this is what the crucifixion is. Stop oh. playing games. You're a coward like your prophet. You oh. receive Quran you when you're doing poo, poo Listen, coward, listen. Was he in the cross and he had nails in his hand? Either you say yes, he had nails in his hand and his feet, or he don't. Which one? Okay, listen to me now, okay. I'm so not now, listening, I uh, want the answer. You see, you are, you can, I'm not David Wood, Muslim, you can play games with him. I'm a Christian prince. I will drag you from your tail until you give me the answer. Doesn't matter how many times I repeat it. Was he in the cross having nails in his feet and his hand? Yes or no? 
Okay, but Quran did not say that he was. Uh, um, I don't care. Uh, he, uh, I don't care. I want your answer. I don't care. You stupid. I want your answer. You are the one who have knowledge now, and I'm learning from you. So he was in the cross. Yeah. He have his nails. He have nails in his hand and his feet. Or yes or no. Yes, okay, so uh, I, uh, why should I give you answer when the Quran so doesn't say that? So why are you calling me a potato? Why I should give you answer? Because you said to me he was in the cross. He was doing the cross. What? Hiking? Yes. It's a cross, you because, idiot. It's a cross. So he was in the cross. Let me repeat again. He was in the cross. He had nails in his hand and his feet. Yes or no? Okay, so the Quran says that he will take his I don't his care so what now, the Quran uh, says. I want your answer. I'm talking to you. Be a man. Stop being a poopoo. -poo. Yes. So, was he in the cross and he have nails in his hand and his feet? Either you say yes or you say no. Go ahead. Okay, so now Jesus was in the cross. Okay, this is this, this is, is not uh, my question. Sure. This is not my question. This is not my question. Potato. Was he in the cross and he have nails in his hands and his feet? Yes or no? So if he was nailed on the cross, but I don't care, for, still, if. I don't care for if, don't add because the word if, potato. I'm asking you, you, according to you, was he in the cross, he have nails in his hand and his feet, yes or no? Yes, it, it, I do not know that because Quran doesn't then say shut that. up, you donkey. You gave me, I mean, you, I lose my voice speaking Ooh. to those idiots. For a very simple question, and then people, they say to me, Mr. Press, let him talk. You see what happened when you let them talk? They talk forever, they say nothing. You have to force those stupid people to answer. Because Islam, based on deception, he just said that Jesus was on the cross. So who was doing what? Drinking coffee? Eating shawarma? Maybe he was doing hiking? I think he was taking selfie. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid answers more than this? Just to duct tape the stupid Quran and the stupid story in the Quran, they say whatever they want, and this is what the Christian they do. The Christian they 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 let the Muslim talk forever, forever, forever. So he avoid the question, he avoid the embarrassment, and this is what David would he do. Here you have you are like a rat in the corner. So when you say Jesus was in the cross, then he was in the cross. That means the Quran is a lie. Why? Because the Quran says they crucified him not. He did. No one crucified him, but you admit that he was on the cross. And what Jesus was on the cross, usually? What people do on the cross? He was, he was taking a suntan, practicing hiking. He was showing his disciple how good he is in hiking. I mean, have you ever heard more stupid religion than this? This verse actually confirmed that our book is a true book. Why? Because it says there, it appeared to them. It was made to appear to them. So this is what appeared to us. So what we wrote there is the truth. And Islam is a fraud. When a Muslim, he said to you that Oh, you are a liar. This is a corruption with the stupid idiot. The Quran confirmed this is not a lie. Why? Because how we can be liars if we wrote down what we saw? Lie is you say something was not seen by you. This is what witness is about. Witness in the court. What did you see? Did you see this guy shooting this guy? Yes, sir. If he saw the shooting, he's not lying. He's not. If you witness, this is what witness is. So the Quran confirmed that we as a Christians witnessed, truly witnessed, the crucifixion of Jesus. And now you know how you get them busted. Some of you in Ramad get anointed. I mean, this guy, he keep insisting because you have to. I mean, there's no point of talking to those people if they don't answer the question. And this is what they do with all other Christians. Five minutes for you, five minutes for me. And then the Abdul is blah, 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 zucchini, tomato, you know. I mean, everything is mixed up. You have to get them busted by the word, word by word. And this is their painful fear
That's why they don't dare to call me. You see this guy? He's crying now for the stupidity he did, made. It turned to be that the one who changed the book is the Muslims. It turned to be that the Christians are truthful and they wrote down what they saw. And not only two, not only that, even the stupid Quran confirmed that the book is between our hands is true. Read it. This is the stupid Quran confirmed the book we have in the time of Muhammad. Do you see it? This is their stupid book they have in their hand today. And there's tons like those verses. The Quran, the, the translation here is saying confirming. That's not true, by the way. It says musaddiqun. Musaddiq mean believe. Believing. And I believe this has happened when Muhammad he was trying to convince the Christian that he is a Christian. Muhammad is a fraud. With the Christian, he's a Christian. With the Jew, he's a Jew. With the Hindu, he's a Hindu. With the Sabian, he's a Sabian. With the pagan, he is a pagan. He is all, he's, he's everybody. That's why when he said the verse, those who they are Jews and those who they are Christian, and whoever believe, and those who they are Sabian, who's left? At that time, if you go to the map, you will find that Sabian, they were the majority in the world, or in the Middle East, at, at least. The most spread religion, it was Sabian. To the point even the Sabian, they believe that the Pharaoh, or they teach, that the Pharaoh himself was a Sabian. Even they claim that John the Baptist was a Sabian. And the Sabian, they have a book, it's called Kenza Rabba. Actually, the book itself, it's two books. Kenza Rabba left and Kenza book, Kenza Rabba right. And you will notice Muhammad, he took a lot of his stories from their book. When a Muslim, he tried to explain, it means he have a shameful thing. He don't want to answer. Let me explain to you. Why you want to explain? Either yes or no. And then you can explain. I mean, why the explanation? Are we talking about chemical? Are we talking about nuclear? So you have to put numbers, calculations, uh, a method, uh, you know, temperature, uh, you know, lighting, uh, Uranium, what, I, what, what, it's simple. Do he have nails in his hand or not? And this is what the Abdul here in this video, they are doing too. Our brother, he asked them the questions, they do their best to avoid answering. Same word? The same, same meaning, you. same words. Got Just you. Yeah. Very good. No, you know very what good. the tempo is? No, tempo. no, 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 no. Uh, when it comes to. Got you, got you. Okay, got you. Uh huh. Beep, beep, beep. Got you, got you. Okay. Uh huh. Let me give you an example. All right. You have six beeps. Yeah. Okay. He is teaching us about the six beeps of the Quran. By the way, there are seven beeps, not six. You did. Beeps. So now the reading of the Quran is beeps. Beep, 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 beep. I mean, do you see the intelligence? He tried to explain the Quran reading by beeps. Okay, explain to us how beep work. I like dumb it down. Not, not because you're dumb. No, 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 no. You gotta dumb Arabic for for dummies. Do it for me. No, no, no it's it's too. You have a yeah. you have a beep. You have a beep beep. Yeah. You have a beep 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 beep. You have a beep, 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 beep. Allahu Akbar. I mean, do you see how he explained the seven letters of the Quran? It turned to be, there's one beep, there's two beep, there's a three beep, there's four beep, five beep, seven beeps. Beep, 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 so this is the seven reading of the Quran, you coward liar. Let us show you how those liars work. If we go in the Quran, where it says, Q, 
Peep, peep. I mean, you must be genius. I wonder who put you in the street. <clears throat> in chapter 36, verse number 38, it says, And the sun runs toward its destination. A fixed course. This is a translation. If you don't like it, we can change it. All translation, by the way, I don't accept them. You know, they are liars. But we are using Muslim translation, so we can be more convincing, let us say. But we don't trust any of their translation. This is Al-Mududi. Dudi. Mr. Dudi. Dudi in Arabic means warm. The sun run its course to a pointed place. Okay. How, how are we are going to read this verse in seven reading? Any Muslim can help us? Let us try this. Peep, peep, sun run, peep, peep, toots course, peep, peep, one, two, up, pointed, peep, peep, please, peep, peep, stop. Okay, now different reading. The sun, peep, peep, is running, peep, its course, up, pointed, peep, 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 peep. This is what the Quran is saying. Let us go and get them busted. The same verse, the same chapter, it says the opposite in different reading. Look, here it says the sun runs to its course. In different reading it says the sun does not run to its course. What? So it's not peep peep, we have poo poo now. Let us go. Chapter 36, verse number 38. And this is Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, he is a Jew, we don't accept him. Ali Dawa, you change your voice from the voice of a turtle or rabbit and speak to me like a man. What Ibn Kathir now is a Jew? Okay, what about other Ibn Kathir? You know, we can go and read the, the, the reading. This is not about Ibn Kathir or this is not about, this is the, this is exist. So look with me here, brother. Takbir. The religion of take beer, but none of them drink anything except camel urine. Okay, let's go down. Read and laugh. And the sun runs to a fixed course between two prior, a term between two bracket appointed. Okay. It says that. It's in front of us, right? This is the reading. We go down. It says the opposite. Read. This is a different reading. And the sun runs with no fixed course of, for a term. Do you see it? Do you see it, people? This is the opposite. How this is going to be different reading? There's a verse saying the sun have a fixed course, and there's different reading saying the sun does not have fixed course. <laughs> this is not the this is not peep peep to peep. This is totally the opposite. Do you see it? Can you show us in dictionary what the word musaddiq means? Yeah. You can type, actually, as long as you know how to write the word Arabic, musaddiq. You can type the word musaddiq in Google, you know, translation, you know, and you will get the answer. Musaddiq means belief. Musaddiq means belief. It's coming from the word sadaqa, which means told the truth. So this is the dictionary. This is the Arabic dictionary. And those are the dictionary. Sadaqa, sadaqa, etc. So they are giving you, let me see different website because this one have like a script where the meaning go inside the front page. Let us do a different uh, website. Uh,
معنى مصدق الكثير الصدق الذي لا يكذبه الناس this is here actually coming as مصدق ومعنى الاسم مصدق الشخص أن الاسم you know so is the one who don't tell a lie or the one is agreeing with the truth you can open any dictionary you want there is endless or you can use google translation Actually, even here, this is Tafsir, Surat al-Baqarah. And the meaning of the word, Musaddiq. وَقَدْ جَاءُهُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعَهُمْ And here is the interpretation for it. الصدق والكذب أصلهما في القول ماضيا أو مستقبلا, etc. So it's telling you that Musaddiq is about uh, believing in something truthful. Agreeing with something truthful. And here we go, you can use Google Translation. So simply, the word sadaqa is the opposite of the word lies, or liars, or lying. And this is even tafsir. And here actually, in the Google Translation, is coming as what? The truth. Certified. Because that word can be used for certification too. Like, you know, if you have a, a degree and you need a stamp of, let us say, university or maybe the embassy. So certified can go for the word musaddiq or musaddaq, which means it's already certified, which means it's really true. It is granted. It is verified. But the word musaddiq in the Quran is more than that because it means he believed too, not only he agreed, not only he certified. And that's why it says here, it's about the belief. But you notice here with us, we have a huge difference between that the sun runs to its course and the sun does not run to its course. So which one of them? And this is Ibn Kathir. Let me uh, give you the link. I don't know if there is a way we can give a link for this uh, because when you click in the top, it doesn't show uh, uh, like a, a specific link. It says the website. Let me see if there's another way. Uh, there's a way to share. Because what it does is I want to share all the... Let me see. Copy, copy addresses. Yeah. Anyway, you can go to the website. You see here, this is the problem with this website. When you copy the link, it does show you, show you the, the main page. But what you can do, you go here in the left, you click at chapter 36, and then you go in the right, choose, you know, uh, between 37 to, 30, uh, to 40, because the verse we want is verse number 38. All right, so as you see, there's a huge difference. This is not the same. And by the way, this is again proved to us that Muhammad and his God is a fraud. They do not know the day of resurrection. Why? Because according to Muhammad, the sun goes every day, every day, and goes under the throne of Allah, every day. So how God, Aka Allah, Aka Muhammad, claimed that he knew the day of judgment when he did not know even where the sun goes every day. This is an example. Muhammad, he claimed, and this is in total agreement with the Quran in chapter 86, sorry, ch chapter 18, where it says the sun set in a, in, a, in a muddy hot water. Look what Muhammad said. Muhammad was sitting in his donkey, and his one of his uh, followers who used to accompany him just for food to get a free food this guy is like a you know a low trashy person so wherever muhammad he go because muhammad wherever he go people they give him free food nice food he's a prophet come on 
food right away we put it at the table and drink and you know so this guy he accompany him I was sitting behind Allah messenger who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting he asked do you know where they said I replied Allah and his apostle knows best and he really noticed that the Muslims they are associating the knowledge of their God with the knowledge of their prophet which means Muhammad and Allah are the same specifically when it's come to knowledge but God is about knowledge so is Muhammad then Allah and his messenger know best you see Muhammad did not say to the man don't say that man only Allah knows no he like it he said it's set in a spring of boiling water not warm water Hamia Hamia mean hot very hot and here it says this is Sahih chain. So the Muslim cannot say to us, Daif, you know, they're getting Daif, you know. Huh. So, do this God knew the judgment day? How he do the judgment day if he do not know where the sun goes? And actually, this hadith in front of us is about judgment day too. Because according to Muhammad, the judgment day will happen when the sun does not come to its fixed course. Read it. And this is Al-Bukhari. So the Muhammadan, they cannot say, oh, this is Daif. This is Sahih Al-Bukhari. And this is Muhammad himself explaining the verse in the Quran. So it cannot be better because this is Muhammad's explanation, not the Mikathir. How this is stupid prophet can be is, uh, coming from a true God? Is that really what happened when the sun set every day? The sun goes every day, I eat trouble, and then sleep under the throne of Allah, and the throne of Allah is at the top of the water, and the sun goes in the water, and then in the morning she asks for permission, and then she keeps doing that until the day of judgment. Is that really what happened, Muslims? Isn't this alone is enough to prove that Allah do not know the judgment day? Allah does not exist, and Muhammad is a big fraud? We have a Muslim. Let us see. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Ultimate fort. There is obsession. Ultimate fort is the same as those uh, uh, horny Muslim girls who send me pictures. I cannot get rid of them. Bugs. Do we have any brave Muslim? And now what you will say? Even the guy whose name, what his name, Fufu Susu Dudu, I don't know what his name. He said, yes, yes, this is a true hadith. The prophet, he got you busted. Hmm? The prophet got me busted. This is a true hadith? Any Muslim? Any Abdul? And the second you show them something embarrassing, they say to you, let us explain. They want to explain the embarrassment. Did we have a good time, guys? Are we learning? Remember what we do here, so we can arm you with knowledge and refutation. And so you can save Muslims from going to hell. This filthy man, Muhammad, perverted man, he turned every evil and he gave a different name to be considered good. As an example, can I ask a woman to sleep with me for three days, three nights? Yes, brother. 
And he says he claimed that this is Zawaj. Zawaj? Yes, brother. But Zawaj mean marriage? Yes, brother. This is temporarily marriage. Temporarily marriage? So now the Muslims are good people. They don't do fornication. We do temporarily fornication. Temporarily fornication. Prince and Prince. Exactly. Like how in the world you inter... Man. How you get inside my line without calling me? Prince and Prince. First of all, temporarily married is abrogated. What, what, what? It's abrogated. Bro, what? Gated. It's abrogated. What, what does that mean? That means it's not valid no more. Eh? So, isn't it prostitution? Exactly. So, why your prophet he allow prostitution? Exactly. Abdul, this is a question. You don't say exactly. You give me the answer. Why your prophet allow prostitution? Prince and Prince. I answer you exactly. Abdul, no, no, no. You need to tell me. I'm, I'm saying, why your prophet allow you to do prostitution? So don't tell me exactly. Christian Prince, you are very slow. Simply, I'm saying to you exactly. Which means I'm doing an agreement with you. Like, what the heck? But you agree, you give me the answer then. I want to see the answer so we can see if you agree or not. Christian Prince, I tell you exactly. And you are stupid. Mm -hmm. Zakir? You know that we are not so smart like you. Nobody is smart like you. You are sexy and you know it. Still, you did not answer me. What kind of a prophet he allow men and women to go and even they exchange sex for a t-shirt, some food, a sandwich. The women, she have to get paid something. This is a prostitution. This is a hooker mood. Was your prophet a pimp? Exactly. Yeah, what the heck with those Muslims? Hey, come on, Zakir Naik, you can do better than this. Okay, I'm going to explain to you. Let us say you are dead in the time of the prophet. And you are horny. Uh, uh, Zakir, don't say the word horny again, please. Last time you said that to me, you scared the whole of hell, you know? Uh, Prince, behave yourself. Be like the prophet Muhammad. He controlled his penis. Uh, okay, we, we, okay, I will control it. Okay, so uh, okay, so I am in the time of prophet now, and I'm horny. Huh? What will happen? Allah prophet because he's merciful. He said to them, "Go and rent women for sex." Ah, rent women for sex. Ah. And this is supposedly not fornication and not uh, uh, prostitution. Exactly, because here they are not doing it for business. A woman, they get a sandwich, or they get five dollars, or they get ten dollars. They are not making out of money. It's little money. And at the same time, they give you what you need. Uh, Zakir, what is my need? Christian Prince, behave yourself. Look, look here. A Muslim is asking a question. The Muslim, they cannot answer me, but they say this to me. Christian Prince, how much you are paid? Abdul. That is a question we should ask you, because according to your religion, if you believe in Allah, the perverted Muhammad, you will be paid. He will pay you women. He will pay you boys, 80,000 little child, they will be servant forever. Thousands of women, they will be opening their legs. Gold and silver, I can show you from the Quran. And don't forget the banana. And you are talking about how much you are paid? I mean, do you see the stupidity? All the religion is based on what? How much you will get paid. Actually, a guy, he came to Muhammad, and he said to him, a prophet, I am uh, uh, the last, uh, uh, supposedly he come to Allah. And he was the last one to enter the heaven of Allah. The last one. Let us see how much he will get paid. This is your hadith, and this is sahih. Look what your Allah is a promise in you. How much we will get paid? Read, read carefully. Okay. <clears throat> it says here, the last one who enter paradise. And the last one of the people who enter paradise, admitted to paradise, is a man who will emerge 
from hell crawling. Like, what the heck? The guy was in hell. And it will be said to him, Go enter paradise. He will come and to it, and he will made, be made to appear to him. As if it's full. Allah will say, Go enter paradise. He will come to it, and he it will appear to him. Okay, we got that in full. And then Allah, he will say, he will say to him, he said to him, I show you to Allah, Oh Lord, I found it full. What the heck? The heaven is full? It's packed up, man. The stadium. There's no more space. Allah will say to him, Go enter paradise. Like, what the heck? We got it. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? And then he will come to it, and uh, it will be made appear to him again. And it is full. So he will say, Oh Lord, I found it full. Allah will say to him, Go enter paradise. Like, what the heck? Thank God I am not Allah. I will hang up in this guy after two minutes. I mean, I keep saying to him, go enter heaven. And this guy, he says to me, it's full. And I say to him, go enter heaven. And he says, it's full. And look, the story is even getting better. So then, Allah will say to him, for you will have the like, go enter paradise, for you will have the like of this word ten times. More or you will have ten times like this word. He will say, you are mocking me. Or you are laughing at me. What the heck? Allah, he promised him ten times. If you go to different hadith things, things is even getting better. Uh, <clears throat> Allah, he promised him to be 10 times more rich, actually not 10 times, 10 billion times, more than any king. Read carefully and love. And this is exist in Al-Bukhari and Muslim, as you see. The Messenger of Allah, he said, I know of the last of the inhabitants of the hell to be taken out of there and uh, the last one who will enter Jannah is a man who will come out of fire, crawling on all fours, because they are donkeys, I told you, you don't believe me. Do you see it? Crawling on all fours. Allah, the Rub, the Lord, uh, uh, he, the Honorable, he will say, go in Tarjan, and he will go and he say, okay, I want to fill up, and then he will say, come back, he says, oh Allah, it's full up already. Allah, he will say to him, Go enter Jannah, you eat it. I told you, go, go, okay? And then you go again, and he says, it's full again. And then Allah will say to him, Go enter Jannah, for you have what you equal to ten times of the world. He will say, you are mocking me? You are making fun of me? Why you are the king, huh? Why you do that, Allah? Then it says here, I eat, the narrator says, Allah Messenger, I saw Allah Messenger laugh until the, his uh, parameters are visible. <laughs> what the heck is that? Okay. Let us see a different hadith. Just to show you how Muhammad cannot repeat the same story twice correctly. Uh, here, Allah, he promised you to get more than any king, way multiply more. This is the lowest person. Where is the guy who said how you will get paid? Are you there, the guy who asked me how much you will get paid? Listen, listen. It will be said to him, you would be pleased if there be for like this in the kingdom, like a king among the king of the words. So Allah says to the guy, you like to be like a king, rich like a king? How much you will be paid, Abdul? You like to be like a king? I hope not like the king of uh, Jordan. This guy is bankrupt. He would say, okay, Allah, I'm pleased, I'm pleased. Okay, thank you, thank you. And then Allah, he says, no, no, no. You know what? You know what? Do you like to even be five times more, more than any king? The man, he said, okay, Allah, thank you, thank you, Allah, thank you. And then he said, Allah, Allah, Allah can't, can't stop. He said, okay, what about I make it 10 times more than the five times? 
So now 10 times more than the five times, which means 50. 50 times more than the king of this world. The man, he will say, thank you, thank you, Allah, thank you, Allah. And the story continues. And you are asking me how much you will get paid? Abdul, I have all your laundry. Any say you, anything you say to me, I will beat the hell of your prophet with your own statement, which is supposed to put me down. If I care for being paid, will I be a Muslim? And then Amazon will make my book number one to be sold. Not the one who take my books from the shelves. And Amazon and YouTube will allow me to collect donation, and YouTube will allow me to collect advertising. The one who's sponsored by Islam, he is the one who make money. YouTube against us, Amazon against us, government against us, Western leaders against us, atheists against us, supporting you. Where is the money? How much you are getting paid? You will not find a single YouTube channel for Muslims. YouTube took advertising from them or donation from them. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Who want to be 10 times more rich than any king in the world, brother? You know, I like it when Allah, he promised us banana in the Quran. You know, in America, banana is the cheapest reading. It's really the cheapest fruit. But the question is, why Muhammad, he promised his followers that they will have banana in the Quran? Anyone knows why? The answer is very simple. This person, this pervert, any fruits, the, the Arab are Bedouin, they are desert people. You know, this is what the word Arab means actually. Many people think that Arab is an ethnic, it's not. Arab is people who live in the desert. This is Aramaic word. Arabia means desert. Arab means people of the desert. Aramaic mean people of the of the hill or, or, or like a high hill, like a little mountain. This is coming from the word Aram. So those who live in the desert, they are called Arab, and because they are Bedouin, you know, they are uh, the word Arab became like saying barbarian or savage, or you know, because they don't take a shower, they don't have water, they smell bad, etc. So. Uh, the Quran, because the first customers for Muhammad is the people who they live there. So what he said to them, he promised them things they don't have. If I promise them things they have now, I mean, what the point? So those Arabs, they sleep in the floor. He promised them beds, couches. They cannot afford to have silk like the Persian or the Roman. So he promised them silk in heaven. And they love the color, the color green, because they live in the desert. So all the promises is the promises of things they love to have. Those people they love to have shade because it's so hot. If you live in Europe, that, that's not the case. You will not see in Europe people growing trees to have shade. Europeans, they spend a lot of money to get suntan. This is why people who live in Europe, they used to worship the sun, and people who live in Arabia, they worship the moon. For the moon was gentle, kind with the light. It is when they can come out, spend the night outside in the hot desert. The European, they appreciate the sun, so the sun became God. Because this is what they are waiting for. They have a frozen winter, long winter, cold. They are desperate to see the sun. So every worshiper he worship, what he think is good for him. And Allah supposedly is the God who unite 
all gods. This is why the God of the sun and the God of the moon, they became Allah Akbar. Allah is the name of the God, moon, God, God La, and Akbar. Akbar is the sun. This is why if you go in the Quran, you will see that when Abraham, according to the Quran, he saw the sun, when he worshipped the sun, he said, Hada Rabbi, Hada Akbar. The only one called Akbar as God in the Quran is the sun. And the Muslim, they translate the word Akbar as a greater. All right. Any question, anything? Are we learning, people? Are we learning? I hope you are taking notes, because trust me, education is power. And, you know, uh, try always try to educate yourself, not only about this garbage of Muhammad, but education is power. Wherever you sit, you will prove yourself. Socially. In your family, in your house, you know, imagine if your son, he listened to you and you are a person of knowledge, how much he will appreciate you, how much differently he will look at you. Or if you are the opposite, you are a person who play games like a kid, yet you are an adult, and you cannot answer a cynical, single question to your, to your son. How your son will look at you? People will appreciate you wherever you go. Knowledge is power. This is what the Bible says. My people being destroyed because of what? Because of their ignorance. Why people die because of cancer? Because we do not know how to fight it. Ignorance. Not long time ago, hundreds of millions, they died just because of a flu or cholera. Half of the population of England once died because of a flu. Imagine, which means from every two, there's one he died. Ignorance. And today, the flu is nothing. Ignorance. Ignorance means death. And death in the Bible means hell. And Jesus, my friend, is the one who can save you from death, which means save you from hell. This is why he said, whoever believe in me and die will live. Because when you believe in Jesus, you did fight the biggest ignorance, which is Satan trying to deceive you, like Muhammad. Have you read the critical Quran? My friend, I don't have time to read any of those books. And for me, uh, with my respect to Robert Spencer, why well, I want to read a book will not add anything to my knowledge. You know what I mean? Maybe this is good for you. You are trying to learn something. Maybe he can teach. I did not know the book. But for me, I don't think I will learn anything. If I read, I will read a book. Can add something new to my knowledge. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. But I'm not saying don't read it. I read it. Why not? Uh, but for me, I don't. I, I'm not even to go to to uh, to have such a book. I don't need it. Anything? You? Any? Any other question? Anyone? All right, look like we have a great time today. Uh, today is a Friday, as you know. Uh, we go Friday live and we go Sunday. And I'm glad that you guys, like in the last video, we have more than 30,000 something in less than 24 hours. That's very good. So let us hope that this video here will exceed way more. So this coming Sunday, we will be able to go live on air, 10.30 a.m. New York time. Invite your friends. And in here, uh, you know, we laugh, 
we enjoy our time, we shout, we scream at the idiots, but at the end of the day, we will not waste your time. You are going to learn something very important. And this is what is important about what we do. There's many channels in YouTube, there's millions. It's just a waste of time, stupid things. Here, we don't waste our time. We will learn something. Something can be useful for you, your children. And remember, Muslims now is everywhere. The Biden, peace be upon him, he brought you 100,000 Abdul in less than a week. In less than one week. Now, every one of those Abdul who run away from Islam, he come to America, he says Islam is great. So, but he run away from Islam. He run away from those who practice Islam, like this guy, Uthman. He run away from Taliban, and he's coming to America to tell us Islam is great. So why you run away from there? So, be ready so they cannot deceive your children. Otherwise, time will come, and then your son will come to you and say, Hey, Dad, I become a Muslim, and then solve the problem. And then you contact me, Christian Prince, can you speak to my son? Why you wait until then? Why you wait until you get, get infected? Preventing the disease is extremely important, more important than taking a drug after you get the disease. Don't wait until you get infected. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? All right. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope we have a good time today. And uh, I appreciate all those people who help us to download the videos, share them, uh, spread them. And for sure, those who support us uh, in Patreon, even though they are most of people there, they are just supporting, just subscribing, not really supporting. But still, we appreciate everybody. And, the, you know, our Lord uh, is amazing. And the good ones are exist. The good ones is those who follow God the good. When a person, he came to Jesus, he said to him, you are good. Jesus said to him, why you are calling me good? When you know that only God is good. A Muslim will say to you, see, Jesus even refusing to be called good. But then you read the flip the page, you will see that Jesus saying, I am the good shepherd. Who of you can prove me to be a sinner? I am the good shepherd. The Muslim, they will play games with you. They will try to test your knowledge about the Bible. So read your book very well. Study it. Love it. Live it. Not only read. Live the story. In the same time, use Muslim questions to increase your knowledge when they make a question about something because they are looking at what they think. It's a mistake. Study it very well. Learn how to get them busted about their lies, because always they lie. Remember that. Learn your book, and learn their book, and then it's finished. Muhammad is finished. Allah is a shish kebab. And as you see, Allah is our joke. Allah is a comedy. And Muhammad is no more than a fraud. If we don't read their books, how we can expose them. And this is why you see the Muslim who called me, he was a crying. Oh, when I talk about the Bible, don't you know, you can do you go to the Quran, but you don't believe in the Quran, right? So what? I use your book because it's what you believe, so I can get you busted. And this is what make it very painful for them. I wanna say thank you, God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam without lies, dies. See you again this coming Sunday, 10.30 a.m. in the morning if the Lord may allow us to be alive. Thank you.
But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him.